this is a little intro to what we're going to talk about now. The, the video is about me versus a Linux fanboy. And I was doing a reaction video by request uh, to a Brody Robertson video. I like Brody Robertson. I don't have anything against him. I, he's a cool dude. He's an amazing dude. Most of the video, is, or well, not most, but a big part of that reaction video is me basically just going mental over the way that he looks at, at the Arsene's community versus everyone else. Like, that is not toxic, and uh, you would see that in the video. You know, because the, the rest of the video is basically just me, you know, minor disagreeing, agreeing, you know, it's not really that, yeah, good ideas, good points, not so good points, you know, my counterpoints. But this here showcase why there is a problem within the Linux community, but also the Ars Linux community. So I thought it would be better to just take that out of the video and um, just be like me versus an Ars Linux fanboy. So anyway, I would just, you know, I'll go to the reaction of it. ...of being a fairly hostile community. No. And from the outside, I can kind of understand why. Then there's no excuse. <laughs> Don't give me excuses. Stop it. You cannot say, yeah, from the outside, it looks. if it looks like it, it is like it. If you're looking into a fucking door and two penguins is humping each other, well, but Joe, maybe we should not go in there because it looks like two penguins is having sex, sex. But it's not like that. Well, they are humping each other. They are probably having sex, okay? If it looks like it, it is like it. You're just trying to be defensive here a little bit. But a lot of that hostility comes from people asking really bad questions. No, there's no... There's only stupid answers. There are no bad questions, only stupid answers. Oh, sorry, there's no stupid uh, questions, there's only stupid answers. Here's the thing, no matter how fucking simple it is, how do I turn on my computer? That's not a stupid fucking answer, a question, because there are people not knowing that it's their first computer. You know, there are people not knowing the simplest basic things in life. Yes, is it is it a, a failure in their um, teaching that they got previously? Yeah, of course. They Someone have failed them at some point in their life if they don't know the simple thing. They are asking you because they don't know. Even though if it's simple, you should not have that attitude. It, it, it's a toxic... It's like, uh, oh, if you're not as knowledgeable as me, how dare you talk to me? I am above you. You are beneath me. If people are asking stupid questions, you ask, answer them. As you would anyone else and if they act stupid and, and don't want to listen as he said previously if they don't want to listen they don't want to take feedback they don't want to do the work to learn what they need to learn now we can start to talk about this go anywhere else that, that that this is not for them but there are a lot of people i have had people all through my life on on, uh, on the internet in different kind of uh, communities where like and, and this is again this is not uncommon but hey i'm Hey, whatever they who they are talking to, I'm really sorry, and I'm, I may sound stupid, but how do I do this? And then it's a really, really simple thing. And if you just like, hey, have you never been taught that, or have you never heard that before, or have you never experienced that before? No, I have, and they say no, I haven't. Well, then you explain it to them. And if they then like, well, are you sure? And oh, I can't be. And nah, I don't really want to read that article. Or I really don't want to, you know, watch that. 10 second video now you can start and criticize them but there are there, there are people that don't know how to boil an egg there are people that don't know how to turn on a computer that's not their fault they have been let down at some point in their computer life someone have let them down or they're just so new that they don't know so let's say you have an application crash let's say Caden live for example is crashing but you go and ask about this and you don't provide system logs system specifications yeah then you say it <laughs> hey, Kadian Life is crashing. Okay, what system are you on? What distribution are you on? Can we get log file dumps? And if they don't know how to do that, you explain to them how to do it. If they don't want to do that, now you tell them to fuck off. The version of the application, the desktop environment you're running, or anything else which might be relevant to the crash actually happening. You're just asking the question, and people are sort of expected to help you. But without the information, no one can help you. And yes, some people might respond in a fairly hostile way, but if you... And this should not, again, this should say, hey, we can't help you. I or, or just ask, okay, 
what system are you running? What version is the software? Do you know how to get get dump files of the logs and can you send it to us? And if said person say no, I just installed Linux yesterday. You 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 teach them how to do it. What he's saying right here right now is a really really elitist toxic mentality and this is why you look toxic in the R community because you think that people know how to do that. I I used Linux for like almost a year before I knew how to do do dump files and shit like that. You know, there are plenty of people that don't know that, so you you teach it to them, or you explain it to them, or you tell them how to do it, so they can help you. So here's the thing: if you do that to them, most of them are willing to do it. If you, and there's a lot of great forum posts out there. Go to a lot, maybe not the arts forum, <laughs> but if you go to like Reddit post and 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 just general Linux forum post, that's how it is. Someone has a problem, and someone is. What version of Linux are you on? What kernel are you running? What distribution? What version of the software? Do you know how to give a dump file of X, Y, and Z uh, software and, and log files? Maybe a memory dump. Either they do or they don't. And then they're like, hey, can you please post that to us? And they're posting it. And then people are sipping through those things and they're helping them. What he's saying right here, that if you're not automatically giving us dump file and version numbers and kernel numbers and fucking plot type and penis length and butthole width and all of that shit, we don't want to help you. That's a toxic mentality to have. I'm sorry, it's at, at best elitist mentality to have. I don't like that because that's that's a problem. You should not react like that. If you're going to be asking questions in these places, you need to understand what is expected of you asking no, the no, question. No, 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 no. I am a mechanic, little Brody. If I took you and you, I force feed your fucking face into an engine, and 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 I want you to fix something on it, you will ask me some simple, stupid question that every fucking guy that knows just a little bit about cars will understand. So should I then be like, hey, you want to learn about cars? You should expect these and these things. No, some people know nothing about Linux and they just want to use it. So they jump in. They have no idea how to ask for questions within Linux. They have no idea how Linux works or how the, the procedures of asking questions are. So we have to teach it to them. That there, my friend, I'm sorry to say it, is a toxic elitist mentality. Get on my level or get the fuck out of here. If you are on my level, if you've done your homework, if you know what's expected of you, I will help you. No, that's not how it works. So it, it's it's a lower form of intelligent, uh, mentality to have. It just shows how little insight people have into other people's life if you think like that. It shows how little empathy you have towards other people. You have been in that situation yourself before. You cannot think like that. If, if someone asks a stupid question, you ask questions back. Do you know this? Can you give us this? Can you do that for us? So they know what to do. Because if they knew that, they would not be asking said question a lot of times. It really angers me. Like, I'm really getting angry over that. This is an exchange. It's not just you getting something for free. Or there's some... It is. It is. <laughs> it is. If I need, if I need help... I need you to turn on the phone for me. I I go up to you. Hey, Brody, can you help me turn on the phone? It's a fucking stupid question. And he's like, why don't you know that? Why the fuck don't you know how to turn on the phone? Well, the uh, the 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 salesperson that I bought it from didn't show it to me, and I, I totally forgot to ask about it. And I'm lost. Can you please help me turn it off? Then I don't. I should not owe you anything. You can say like, what do I get out of it? If I help you, what do I get out of it? And if you have that attitude, I will go and ask someone else, to be honest. You should not expect to get anything back if you want to help you. If you really want to help, this is really pissing me off, to be honest. I'm sorry. I like Brody, but this is pissing me off. If you really want to help people, you should not expect anything back. Because then you're not helping people. You are helping yourself. You're building up favors and good, uh, you know... Uh, your yeah, favors and, and good points you can then withdraw back from other people no and uh, the same in forums and reddit posts and stuff like that people in there should be there because they want to help people not because oh if i help you i get something back or i will only help you if you have read the documents no then you're doing it for your own gratification you for your own masturbating e I, I i can't like maybe it's because i work with people like i have people that i am 
physically teaching stuff at my current job. You know, I have people that are not too smart, to be honest, that I, I help out doing work-related stuff. And I can't be like, okay, I know more than you, so if I help you and you ask me a question, well, at least you know how you know as much as I do, right? You know how to operate that machine because I do. Well, no, that's why I'm asking you. Well, if I help you show you how to work this machine, what are you going to do for me then? That's not how the world works. If you want to be a helpful teaching guy, you don't do it with any expectation of getting anything back other than the satisfaction and 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 the um, chemicals, uh, endorphins, and uh, what the fuck it's called in your body from being a good person helping people. It's a really toxic mentality that, well, it's a give and take thing, you know. If I help you, you have to do something back. Then you're not helping. Some people who are just asking questions simply in the wrong location. Say ask- Then educate them for fuck's sake. Like I said, some people are not smart. Some people have a really, really low IQ, okay? Some people don't know how forums works. Some people don't know how to navigate the help system. So yeah, they will ask questions in the wrong place. Then you politely tell them to not do it, okay? You don't get angry. You don't become toxic. This is a good example of why people think the arts community is toxic. It's this mentality here. It drives me up the fucking wall slash Linux, for example. This is not a support subreddit. If you want to go and get support, somewhere like Linux Questions is a much better place. Explain it to them. And on that note, thou shalt use the knowledge base and search. In most cases, your question or problem has already been addressed. Try to find the answers that are already out there before asking someone to provide a new one. He's not a teacher. I'm sorry to say it, he's not a teacher. He don't know how to educate. He don't know how to teach. Sometimes, I, most times when people are asking questions, what they are asking is for you to be their Google guy. I, I'm sorry to say this again, but <laughs> not meant disrespectful, but I, I do laugh about it. But there are people that don't still don't know how to search for problems solutions with Google or in a forum section and stuff like that. If you encounter someone asking a question in the wrong place or asking a question to something that have already been answered, you link the thread to set answer. If you know, ex because he must know that someone had asked it before and asked answered. Well, it takes you almost as long to just post the link into that thread than explaining to them how fucking stupid they are and to fucking go do their own research and search it themselves. You just be like, bum, look here. We are not in the 90s anymore. Nowadays, we have these incredibly powerful search engines. Yeah, you explain to them how they work then. Learn how they work, learn how to search well, and you'll find that a lot of the questions you've been asking... But how should they learn it if nobody wants to teach it to them? It's a, it, it, it's a really simple question. They may not know how to use them. And if you don't want to show it to them or help them with it, how the fuck are they going to learn it? ...have already been answered, especially when it's about a fairly popular system. Let's say you're having problems with, like, hybrid graphics with NVIDIA, or maybe you want to go and do something... Yeah, but that person could not know that. They could be new to Linux or new to the system. They don't have your knowledge... I, I, Oh, people, you now see why I say that the Linux community is toxic, because a lot of people are like him. ...with a GNOME tool on Ubuntu, or maybe something about Linux gaming not working the way that it should be. A lot... Yeah, of course, there could be... So oh my god. If, if, if this is how he approached people in forums and stuff like that, yeah, he looked toxic. A lot of the questions you're going to have, someone has asked, and they've probably been asked like 10 or 20 times. If you're a live streamer, he's sounding like DSP now. If you're a live streamer, let, this is a really good example. If you're a live streamer, you will be asked the same fucking question 10,000 times. Trust me. Why? Because new, people's co new people come in that was not around when that question was answered. The thing is, 
people are going to ask the same question over and over and over again, and it will be different kind of... If the same person asks the same question over and over again, kick their fucking ass out. But if different people are asking already answered questions, it's not on them. Either the either the system is not good enough to give people the uh, or easy enough for people to find answers, or they just don't know how to search for. It. So, so again, like I said before, you teach them how to help themselves. You know the saying: "Give a man a fish and you feed him for a day." Teach a man how to fish, and you teach them uh, you feed him for a lifetime. He's the guy that's like, "I know how to fish." You should be knowing it also. If you're asking me fishing questions, you should be knowing how to. How dare you come ask me how to fish? You should already be knowing that if you want to fish. But if you are doing something a bit more obscure, let's say you're doing what I... Again, it's beneath my intelligence. I'm sorry, but... Oh my god, he looks stupid right now. This is like a really low intelligence way of looking at this set. And really elitist. I do, and you're looking at like random Linux software that maybe 10 people in the world have ever used. Maybe then it might be a good idea to ask a question. No, oh... Again, I have been dealing with teaching people for uh, doing job related. Uh, I'm not being a teacher or an educator, but I always had like apprentices under me and and I, I have managed p a small group of people. I think we call it a team leader. Uh, a lot of times at my jobs, I end up being kind of like a team leader. So I have been dealing with educating or, or teaching people in, in both with technologies and in work related situations. And if, if everyone had this mentality here, nobody would learn anything. Yes, you will get the most stupid question one sometimes. You know what? You don't know their situation. You don't know what they have to deal with. You don't know their mental capacity. This has been a long ass video. See you all later. Bye bye.